My name is Maya McGuire, and I'm an educator with Florida Sea Grant at the University of Florida. As a marine biologist, I study things that live in the ocean. Today I'm going to read a chapter from a book that I wrote with some friends. The book is called One in a Thousand, Those Amazing Sea Turtles. Chapter six, how do human activities affect sea turtles? The ancestors of modern sea turtles were alive at least 100 million years ago. Sea turtles have survived for a very long time. But now all of the different types of sea turtles are in danger. Unfortunately, all sea turtle species have been harmed by things that people do. In many places, people like to eat sea turtle eggs and meat. People have hunted hawksbill sea turtles for their pretty shells. Tortoise shell, which is really hawksbill sea turtle shell, was used to make combs and hair decorations, small boxes, jewelry, and other decorative items. In the United States and many other countries, sea turtles are protected. People are no longer allowed to hunt sea turtles or to dig up their eggs to eat. Plastic has replaced tortoise shell. However, sea turtles are still hunted in some parts of the world. Sometimes people illegally harvest sea turtles. We call this poaching. Sometimes sea turtles are caught by accident when people are fishing. This is called bycatch. Shrimp boats drag large nets called trawls through the water. When sea turtles get trapped in trawls, they can drown. Turtles can also get caught when people are fishing with hook and line. Sometimes the turtles will swallow fish hooks and fishing line. This can be dangerous for the turtles. Fishing line can get wrapped around the papillae inside the turtles' throats. This can make it very difficult for them to swallow food. Hooks can cause injuries that can become infected. Sea turtles sometimes get trapped in old fishing nets, ropes, or pieces of fishing line that have been thrown or left in the ocean. This entanglement can drown the turtles. Turtles that are crawling up the beach to nest can get tangled up in beach chairs, umbrellas, or other objects that people have left on the beach. Hatchling turtles can fall into tire tracks, sandcastle moats, or holes that people have dug on the beach. They can become exhausted trying to get out of these traps. If they are allowed on the beach, cars sometimes run over sea turtle hatchlings. As discussed in chapter five, hatchlings can get confused when lights shine on the beach. Sometimes street lights, lights around swimming pools, or porch lights can look like the moon to a baby turtle. Hatchlings sometimes crawl toward these lights instead of to the ocean. Lights can bother adult turtles too. People should not shine flashlights at nesting turtles as this can make them turn around and go back into the water. Bonfires on the beach during the summer can scare nesting turtles or confuse hatchlings. Some places do not allow beach bonfires during sea turtle nesting season. In the ocean, sea turtles sometimes eat pieces of plastic because the plastic looks like food. Plastic bags and balloons may look like jellyfish in the water. Small pieces of plastic can look like little shrimp. Pieces of fishing line might look like seagrass. When turtles eat plastic, they cannot digest it. If their stomachs fill up with plastic, they can starve. When sea turtles come to the ocean's surface to breathe, they may only stick their noses out of the water. This makes it very difficult for people in boats to see them. If turtles are hit by boats, they can suffer from head injuries. Sometimes their shells get cracked. The boat's propeller can cut into the turtle's back. These injuries can kill it. Sometimes people build seawalls between their homes and the beach. This is done to try and stop the sea from eroding beachfront property. These walls can make it impossible for turtles to get above the high water mark on the beach. Sometimes they force turtles to lay eggs where the nests will drown. Some turtles may give up on nesting if they crawl up to a seawall. If beaches are eroding, we sometimes add sand to the beach. This is called beach nourishment. 
If the sand that is added to the beach has very small grains, sea turtle eggs will not be able to survive. Oxygen cannot get through very fine sand to the eggs. Usually beach nourishment is not done during sea turtle nesting season. Oil can get into the ocean in many ways. Sometimes there are accidents at sea that result in large amounts of oil being spilled from oil rigs or ships. But much of the oil that gets into the ocean comes from runoff from land. If people throw oil from their car or boat into the trash, it can leak into the ground. When it rains, oil on or in the ground can get washed into rivers or the ocean. When oil is in the ocean for a long time, it turns into thick, black, sticky tar. Sea turtles that become covered in oil can die. Turtles also sometimes eat tar balls or swallow oil with their food. The oil is poisonous when it is eaten. This is the end of chapter six. Do you want to learn more? Look for recordings of additional chapters on the Florida Sea Grant YouTube channel.